What's up, guys? Your boy Torn Breeze bringing you a little commentary. And this is going to be live standoff Black Ops 2 free for all. And yeah, today I just want to talk about something that's pretty cool. Um, for me, it's a kind of a big milestone in my life. I am um, today, March, one year since I decided to cut alcohol out of my life. And it marks the year since I've had a drink of alcohol, which is a pretty big deal for me. Um, Especially considering the amount of booze I used to drink, like it was absolutely, absolutely insane. But uh, I don't know how this game's gonna go because I haven't played in Black Ops Two today. But um, yeah, pretty insane given the amount of alcohol I used to drink. Like I said, um, if you knew me, then you knew that I usually stayed pretty lit. Uh, more often than not, I was always drunk, which is not good. But I'm happy to say that that hasn't been the case for a year. Um, you know, and that's, it's done a ton of stuff. Not only has it changed, like, my output, my outlook on life and, like, uh, just it's made me a better person. But at the same time, it's also the health, like, the change in my health is by far the most drastic thing. Um, because I was, you know, diagnosed type 2 diabetic, grossly overweight, um... And, hang on, I'm trying to, ooh, grossly overweight, and it's just like, man, numbers were bad. My fucking uh, liver enzymes were high, my cholesterol was through the roof, um, you know, everything was really, really high, and that's, you know, that's not good, especially given my age, like, I'm fairly young, so i really shouldn't have been having those types of problems especially being diabetic you know that's something that could be either chalked up to um, uh, a hereditary issue or it could just it had everything to do with what i was eating and drinking and then what i was eating after drinking so to go to the doctor um i went to the doctor last week for my yearly physical and you know he was as amazed as i was like and so was his nurse she was just said you know she called me with the results and she was like it's in, it's actually really insane because the amount of change in the past uh 11 months well it'd be 12 now but is ridiculous it's like hang on my um basically if you're diabetic that means your blood sugar level level is either too high or too low and mine was too high so my blood glucose was um averaging like 200 they run what's called an a1c and it basically gives a readout of your blood sugar, your blood to sugar glucose level for the past three months, like before you take the test. So I took this test right before I quit drinking, and it was um, it was actually registered at 9.2, which means that it had been at um, it had been at 200, which is extremely high for the past three months, like the three months prior to me taking it. And um, that's bad. That's really, really bad for you. I think normal is like 5.6 and below. So, you know, I went back um, last week for my yearly physical. And she called me a day later and said, hey, we got your results in. Um, I said, okay. And my A1C was now is now dropped down to 5.5, which is, like I said, below normal. So it is average to below normal which is insane uh, my weight has dropped significantly i've kind of i haven't been working out as much as i want to but um it still stayed fairly same i've lost quite a bit of weight um i lost a lot of it right when i quit drinking but you know it, it, that comes down to diet too so um yeah but um man basically you know everything else was fine my uh fucking my uh, <laughs> hold on oh my god Liver enzymes were normal. They were always really high, probably obviously due to alcohol. Liver enzymes were fine. Um, cholesterol was a little high, but that's just poor eating on my part. It wasn't anything crazy. It was like 203. Um, they were fine. Everything else, triglycerides, all that shit was normal. So, I don't know. For it to change that drastically in 12 months is insane. And then my outlook, like as, as I mentioned at the beginning, my outlook on life has changed. You know, like... I, uh, not that I didn't have a purpose, but I was really just drinking, like, it wasn't an everyday, like, morning, sun up, sun down type of thing. It was, I would go to work, uh, drink when I got off work, get drunk, go to bed, wake up, do the same thing. 
And I did have days where I would, you know, party with friends during football season and all that shit. So it wasn't like I wasn't having fun, but I wasn't your fucking... Uh, I wasn't your run-of-the-mill alcoholic all day, every day. But I definitely was doing more harm than good. It was doing more harm than good for me. So, you know... Um, I don't know. It's just something that's crazy to me. And I'm really glad to be here. I don't know. I might not have been alive if I would have kept... Who knows? You know, I could be dead. Uh, so... And that's where it was going had I kept drinking. But anyways, just want to drop this out there and say thanks to everybody that's been really supportive. Love you guys. Um, I'm going to be dropping a mini and I have to start finding some shit for the Torm Team Tries. If I don't hurry up, they're going to drop it without me in it. But uh, yeah, this is Torm Breeze. I am out. This guy's up here. You guys have a great day. As always, adios. I'm going to try and win this real quick. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not going to win. He's going to come back from... Oh, look at this guy. Oh, fuck, with the stun shots. The stun shots. I haven't been played Black Ops 2 in a long time, but um, it's good when you have a decent connection. I'll give you that. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, and now I'm dying, and now it's not fun anymore. Haha. <laughs> anyway, let me get these last couple kills real quick. Triple headshot would be cool. What's he doing over here? What's this fucking guy doing? Did he hear me? He just giggled. That's fucking weird. Get him. Get him. What's he doing, man? Oh, shit. Anyway, it's Chris Storm Breeze. I am out. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, adios.